Today, I'm going to show you guys how to fix your game config not saving. Now, honestly, I really did not want to make this video. I feel it's going to totally flop. So if you could support this for me by dropping a like, subscribing, it really mean the world to me. But getting straight into this, a lot of people are having problems with their rendering mode or any settings in here not saving. So when they exit the game and come back to it, it resets. So let's say you were to change your DirectX 11 to DirectX 12. When you relaunch your game, it doesn't actually change. I'm going to show you how to fix that real quick. So what you want to do is, first of all, cancel Fortnite, close your application entirely, type in and run here. You then want to type percent local app data percent and then you want to find your Fortnite folder. So Fortnite game. Now, trust me on this, delete the Fortnite game folder. Just get rid of it. Once you've deleted it, now you want to verify your game and once your game is verified, launch Fortnite. Just completely open out Fortnite. Once you launch the game, change all of your game settings to the exact settings you want. Then once you do that and you've launched your game, Fortnite by default would automatically create another Fortnite game folder. It would have done this on launch and then that means all them settings you saved should now be also in your config. But we want to go here, we're going to save config, Windows client and hopefully in here right now all the settings have changed so you will need to double check some. But for example, user rendering API. I use DirectX 11 which is number two. And I'm not too sure on the other figures but if this is not number two, let's say it's number one or um, maybe zero, I assume that you have it on the right one. Just make sure it's not number two because that's DirectX 11. But I guess it's trial and error. Try them out and I guess there's ensure sure that your settings in here are all okay. There are a few things that want to reset and I'll show them now. So the first one would be display gamma. Make sure it's one point and then six zeros after it. So just copy this here. Also things like show grass, I'd put that on false. Also be disable mass acceleration, put that on true. And multi-thread rendering, if you use it, make sure that is also set in here to true. Everything else should actually be fine. Obviously the further optimize the game, where it says scalability groups, all these more or less need to be on zero and resolution quality on 100 but once you've 100 percent fixed your config press file save now right click this go to properties and ensure in the general tab that the attribute read only is ticked press apply press ok and now those settings that config is locked in you've ticked read only which is going to ensure that when you launch your game fortnite does not try and change any of them and the main fix here would have been verifying your game and creating fresh config with a new fortnite game folder basically that was your issue but yeah that should be it for this video i don't know if you guys can hear there's literally a dog barking. I hope you guys did very much enjoy this video. I hope this could help because the problem was just your Fortnite game folder was kind of bugged. Fortnite's just buggy right now. You know, if this did help, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I hope everyone has an amazing day. It's been a way fetch and yeah, peace.